This is how you operate a Rogue Eater 1300 C-Series sprayer. Starting on the outside of the sprayer, we have the main fill valve. This is where you hook up where you're going to put product in your tank. This is your rinse tank valve when you want to rinse out your sprayer. Moving on to the next product. This handle is for when you want to be in your spray position. Move it to the left when you want to rinse out your tank. This display reads how much is in your tank and there is a float inside your tank for a more accurate reading of how much product is in there instead of always looking at your tubes on the front and the back of your tank. So when you're on a little bit of a slant, it'll have a more accurate reading of how much is actually in there. This button is your tank sump. This is your pump, um, your manual agitation, um, throttle, lights, and other auxiliary switches. This white valve is your bypass valve, so it's closed right now. Um, if it was open, you can use your pump to pull water onto your tank, but we don't need that right now, so it's closed. This blue valve is your rinse tank, so if it's open, um, you can take water from your rinse tank to rinse out your main tank. So we, right now we have that closed. So there's an automatic battery shut off on these sprayers. So we can fire it up. I'm ready to put product in my tank so I can have my tank sump open. And I can also turn this on, which is my main valve, which isolates product from my booms uh, from my tank. This is my pump, so I can start that once I have product in there. This is my boom breakaway. If I hit an object like a power pole, it will release my booms. This is my tank circulation. So the sprayer has a continuous boom system. So my booms are primed with no hot spots prior to spraying. This goes into my screen when I want to rinse out my tank and do a product rinse. These are my boom fold and unfold, manual agitation. Uh, this doesn't apply, this doesn't apply, park brake, uh, road mode, automatic throttle, and then uh, cruise control. So this sprayer has the Viper 4 installed in it, so when it's fired up, you can click OK, and then your jobs will pop up, and then you'll have to click your liability, go back to your jobs here, and then you can start your job when you get to your field. I'm starting to put product in my tank. I got. 245 gallons in there right now. I can start my pump. And I'll start my agitation. This is my agitation bar. Since I'm on automatic agitation, it'll slowly increase as more product goes in my tank. Okay, so I'm full of product. It shows here. Here's my uh, pump pressure and nozzle pressure. And I can start my recirculating booms. I can turn my parking brake off. My ladder will come up. And then with my hydrostat, if I go forward, nothing happens. So there's a button on the back side that has to be pushed in. And then you can push this stick forward and then you'll start rolling. Bump my throttle up, got my road mode on, got some lights up here, hazards and strobe. See you in the field. 
day I made it. Next thing I want to do is I want to start my job. So if I want to create a new job, job name up here, enter that, guidance, you can go AB line, and then you got to enter your rate. So I'm spraying 10 gallons, enter that, name, line, rate, enter that, and there it is. So your rate's here, this is my total area, how much I've sprayed, your uh, degrees you're on, auto steer is on, then you can put your AB line here and, and shift it here. One button auto fold, hold this, start folding out. Just keep holding it the whole time. can put the rack down, which is this button here. So these are the main rack controls. Left tip, down, up, right tip, down, up. These are my cruise settings. There's two different cruise settings that you can choose. There's cruise one and two. Here's your master apply button and your auto steer button. So now my booms are low enough that I can engage my auto boom. Click UC5 in the top left corner. Liability, yes. Check the A. Now my auto boom is engaged. Okay, I'm about to start. I can shut off my boom recirculation. And I can turn on my automatic throttle. And now this. This guy does nothing. It'll all, uh, it'll give me the power it needs for when I'm going. Just doing the headlines here. So these five blue buttons are my main sections. And then this left red light is my fence row nozzle. So I'm having that on right now. So I can uh, shoot product a little bit farther so I can get right to the field edges. Okay, headlines are done, ready to set my AB line. So there's different lines you can set. We can use a compass or a contour, but we're gonna just set an AB line. So you just gotta hit the A to set your A, and then B will show up when you hit your B. shows up, I can hit my auto steer button, and then it'll follow it. Next is you can set your cruising speed. So I have it at 13 and a half right now. Click on it, you can bump it to whatever you want. Let's enter 14, enter, and then hit your cruise. And then it'll hold it at 14 miles per hour. So coming out of your corner, you can hit your cruise button, or you can just nudge the stick. This will also accelerate and decelerate. So if you were to hold it forward, the faster you'll go, you hold it back, the slower you go. So there's also 16, 16 sections on this sprayer. So when I come to a, a, a part that I've already sprayed, it's going to shut down these sections so I don't over apply what I've already been, where I've already been. So it's 
shut down and now it's starting to turn back on. So the last monitor I want to show you is this one. This is the Capstan Pinpoint 2. So basically it's your nozzles. So this blue line in the middle represents your duty cycle. So right now I'm at a duty cycle of 82%. And what that is basically is how fast the nozzles are turning on and off. So each nozzle has a solenoid which turns it on and off rapidly. And what that does is it can control the rate of the sprayer. So as I slow down and speed up, those nozzles are also going to slow down and speed up. That, and what that does is it maintains my rate. Uh, no matter what speed I'm spraying at. So it's pretty cool. It also has turn compensation. So if I'm, if I'm going around a slough or trees or something and I'm turning to the left, so my right side boom is gonna be turning faster than my left boom. This boom's gonna be going slow, this boom is gonna be going fast. So this boom has to put out more product than this one. So this capstan can figure that out and it'll gradually increase product to that side of the sprayer and decrease it to this side of the sprayer. And I'll try to show you that. So right now, each, each nozzle is, is pulsing really fast. Boom, 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 boom. And then if I'm turning, so this boom's going slower, the, it'll, the pulsing will slow down, boom. Boom, boom, and then this side will speed up. Do, 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 do. how just slowing down and speeding up the pulses can keep my rate the same. Engineers and manufacturers are always coming up with different ways to make our job easier and saving us money at the end of the day. But I got a full day of spring ahead of me. Hope you enjoyed that. But I got to keep going. See you next time.